Hi everyone, in this video clip, I will actually start off with a new chapter that is on probability. This video clip goes into the introduction to probability, some terms of probability, and of course with some examples on probability as well. Now what actually is probability? Probability has the term coming from the word chance. So that means that we are actually looking at an experiment basically. And when we carry out an experiment, we have no idea what is the outcome. Okay? So basically, when we carry out a random experiment, we actually, every outcome, every trial, actually depends on chance that comes out of it. So the result of every performance of this experiment is what we call an outcome. For example, you roll a die, a normal die. So the outcome of this usual die that you see will actually have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, listing down all the possible outcomes of this die will be what we call the sample space. Okay, sample space. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 are all possible outcomes of this experiment which involves rolling a die. Okay? And then we are always keen in finding out what is the chance of a particular event occurring. An event, basically, denoted say by A, is actually what we call a subset of this sample space which satisfies certain condition. certain condition. Okay. For example, A could be the event that an odd number appears. Okay. And then we are interested in finding the probability. that event A occurs. Okay. And to find the probability that event A occurs, we actually first must understand how we denote this. It's probability that A occurs. Right? And we are going to introduce to you this famous formula that is given by the number of elements in A over the number of elements in the sample space. If we further add a condition that the die is actually a fair die, that means that every outcome has an equal chance of being selected, then the probability of A will be the probability that the odd number appears and that is given by the ratio of the number of possibilities where A occurs, in that case will be 1, 3 or 5. There are three cases over the number of elements that the entire sample space is allowed, which means it's six of them here. And that gives you half. Okay. So this formula with regards to the ratio of the number of elements that A occur to that of the number of elements that S occurs would actually be a very, very useful formula that you should know. But there is a condition. The condition is that you need all the outcomes to be equally likely to occur. Okay. So for example, if the die is a biased die, then maybe one appears more often than the rest of numbers. So you cannot just add up the three, one, three, and five, which is three, over six as the probability that A occurs. Right? So therefore, we are under the assumption that every outcome has an equal chance of being selected before you use this formula. Okay? Now let's talk about some additional things like the law of total probability. Now the law of total probability basically means that the sum of all the possible probabilities is 1. Okay? What does it mean? Okay? It means that if we have the 
all the possible outcomes here, one, two, three, four, five, and six, right? You add up all these probabilities, they will all come to one, okay? There is the certainty probability, okay? And for any event, the probability of A is always between zero and one inclusive, okay? Because we are talking about chance, huh? we're talking about chance. And if probability of A equals zero, it means that it is certain that it will not occur. And when probability of A equals one, it will be the other extreme where it's certain that A occurs, okay? And the other thing is this thing called complements here. Okay, complement we always denote by either A prime or A bar. What is actually the complement of A? The complement of A, okay, in our layman language, it means is actually the situation when A does not occur. Suppose A is the event that odd number appears. Then what do you think is A prime? A prime is of course the event that odd number does not appear. That means A prime is the event that an even number appears. Basically. Okay, like right that. Now let's take a look at ending off this particular video clip with an example that is given on your handouts. Okay? Now, it says the following. A number is chosen from the set of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Find the probability that the number chosen is a prime number. Right? Prime number. Now, prime number we know are 2, 3, 5, 7, right? These are the four prime numbers. So if you use the number of possibilities where the prime number occurs, there's 4 over the total number of outcomes, that's 10, that will give me 2 over 5. Okay? Now, the second one is that it's not a prime number. Not a prime number is basically the complement set. The complement set will be 1, okay, minus the probability of a prime number, actually. And that gives me 1 minus 2 fifth, and hence it's just 3 fifth. Okay. And finally, they're asking for the probability that an odd number which is a multiple of 3. Now, odd number that is a multiple of 3 will be 3 and 9. Right? Odd number that is a multiple of 3. So that will be 2 over 10. That will give you 1 feet. Okay? So you can see that all these 3 make use of the understanding of this rule. Okay? As well as an additional rule which says that the probability of any complement set is 1 minus the probability of A, which I use it for part 2. Okay? And that ends off this particular video clip. And in the next video clip, we'll go into more examples pertaining to different types of probability problems. Okay? Thank you.